So over here, you can see that I have an image opened up and I am in the expert mode right now. And if I were to go around over here onto styles, then I can apply out different styles of my choice right here. So you can see that this is what you have. There's different type of styles right here. So you can select each and every one of these out and you can see that the style is applied right here. If I were to go around and select this, you can see the style on the edges as you can see just like this. So there's different this type of style right here, this type of style, this type of style, which works around in the edges uh, to give a bit of a 3D look as you can see. So you can see that these are the bubble styles, but there are different styles right here, like complex styles, as you can see. So you can apply pattern all over it over here, or you can go around and use drop shadows over here, just like this as well. But these styles actually work on um, uh, se separate layers, which uh, does not actually cover up the whole area. So let me just go around and undo these out right here, undo applying of styles so that I get the default image. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and take, let's say, for example, a shape right here, a heart shape is here. You can go around and click on these styles, as you can see, and they are applied over here. So just like this, you can see that as per the style I selected, the style gets applied over here on the layers. You can go around over here from bubble to complex right here and apply out different elements over here, just like this as well uh, from over here. You can go around on to drop shadow and then apply drop shadow over here as you can see just by clicking on this there's different type of shadows that you can uh, select out so one with uh, more shadow right here and other effects right here just like this you can go around on to glass buttons and add in more like a glass effect over here as well so let me just go around and create out another shape and you can see that same effect gets applied to those as well just like that so there's different things. There's like image effects, as you can see right here, that you can apply. And there's like gradients that's, uh, get, that get supplied right here. There's like um, inner shadows that you can add in as well to add in inner depth right here. There's like um, uh, outer glows that you can add over here as well to add in different type of glows over here around the, uh, um, um, ar around the object, as you can see, just like this, just by clicking on them. And you can go around onto patterns over here as well. You can go around and click on different types of patterns right here. You can go around over here onto, let's say, photographic effects right here and uh, choose from one of these effects as well. You can go around onto strokes, add in different type of strokes over here, just like this as well. And then that is what you have. On the bottom, you can see that all of the um, effects are, uh, are selectable from over here as well, from the uh, custom area, as you can see. So there's strokes that you can add in, there's visibility level that you can work around with over here as well. As you can see, there's like um, a wall chrome effect that you can add in over here. There's like wall neon effect that you can add over here as well. And you can see that they give a distinct look to our object right here uh, as we choose different uh, elements right here. You can go around, give it more like a plastic look as you can see right here. And you can even show all of the effects all at once right here and apply the ones that you want to apply on to the particular layer right here. Uh, so all of these effects, uh, to apply them, you have to select out the uh, particular layer that you want to apply the effect to. And then you can start applying the styles as you can see just like this. And that is how you can apply styles inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.